they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frowns. We can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. All right, so hey, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. Guy, Kendall. Cry, I already know what's up. Maya Kendo. All right, so we're going to do a little icebreaker, get you warmed up. So I'm answer, I'm asking you a question, just answer. Mm -hmm. First thing come to mind. Um, what's your sign? I'm a Gemini. What's your favorite color? Red. Favorite word to use? Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Something you hate seeing on social media? Fraudulent activities. Okay, we're going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your ethnicity? I don't even know. What's your favorite song of all time? My favorite song of all time? I got too many, but I think the one that got me right now, Dirk India Part 2. Okay. What's the, who was the last person you text? <laughs> the Driller. Okay. Um, celebrity crush? Kaylani. Favorite power couple? Favorite power couple? couple? Yeah, Armani and um, Regine, I think that's how you say her name. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, worst rapper? Worst, Kenzo B. Okay, favorite one hit wonder? Favorite one hit wonder? Mm, I don't got one that kind of mind. <laughs> hey, dang. <laughs> All right, and the last one. Mm, if you, no, best thing about New York City? We mad, like, authentic, creative, like, stuff from New York, everybody doing. Yeah, for sure. TikTok and a frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right, so for the people that don't know, where you from? I'm from Far Rock, Far Rock, America. Y'all know what's up. And so you always grew up in Queens? Yeah. Okay, so how you ended in Brooklyn? In Brooklyn, like <laughs> Brooklyn, like Brooklyn right there. Like, I was always outside in Brooklyn, but you know, I wasn't really too deep in Brooklyn. Yeah. So, but Queens, would you think it was good for the music or? I feel like. Nah, yes, I feel like like the way Brooklyn, that. like not not even just Brooklyn, but I feel like Queens is the least active in, in the rapping out of all like the boroughs. Okay, you don't fuck with nobody from Queens. I mean, I know some rappers in Queens, <laughs> gangsta like my son Ty Lotto, Ote, like Cuff Fly Kev, like those are just rappers in the hood and stuff like. You know? Okay, all right, okay, and then who you feel like inspires your music? My father. Okay, and your dad does music too. Yeah, he used to, he used to, he fell off, hope he get back <laughs> soon, like, I don't know. Oh, you want him to keep rapping? Yeah, he nice, like, really nice, like, I'm talking, like, Meek Mill nice, like. Okay. <laughs> All right, so is that where you get some of your pen game from, you feel like? Nah, he be trying, he be trying to, like, you know, he say this line, say that line, but, he, nah, I don't get my pen game from him, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he nice, I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where does your pen game come from, you feel like? The funny part is, like, I feel like my best songs been the spontaneous ones, like the ones that I didn't write, the ones that we were just in the stool, and I just picked the beat and just got in the booth, and I just freestyled the whole song. Those were my best records. Like, what my, songs was those? My Hump, believe it or not, all my songs, like My Hump, Top 2, Not 2, Tragic, like I did that in the booth, like, you know, we don't, you feel me, but Ty Ty and them, they know, like, I really was, like, on the spot with it, like, in the booth, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, well, mostly all my tracks, none of them is really, really written. So you don't really write like that? Gangster. I try, because, like, that way, you know, that's better organization. When you come to the studio, okay. your song's written. But. So the singing song you wrote, though. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, believe it or not, those is so you hard to write, because I don't be in my feelings. So I can't just sit there in my feelings. I be in the studio just, like, hearing the beat. I be on the mic doing it. I be like, just let me play the beat. I tell him, don't record. And I just, you know, just be in my vibe. And it comes to me naturally, too. Okay. I can't write those either. Right. So um, backstory of the name, Maya Kenzo. Where did it come from? Kenzo was like, you know, you know the, the clothing brand or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this was like, I think like 2016. And like everybody just had sna snap names. Like it was Swervos and Flexos and Benzos. Just <laughs> mad weird. Like we were just, we were just calling ourselves anything. And Kenzo's was one of them. So I could have picked, you know, any one of them. It wasn't like a specific reason. I just picked it because I like, sound better. Maya Kenzo. Y'all know what's up. Okay. Do you feel like you would ever change your name being that it's so many Kenzos? Nah, because like we, we all know. We all know who top two and not two, so I ain't changing my. But name. even like Kenzo Bola said something about that too. Like even just the boys too. I now. feel like like I feel like I really personally never cared about like if anybody else called themselves Kenzo because at the same time it's really just a name. Like yeah, okay. So when was you taking music serious? Like when was that? around last year January? Okay, so it's only been a year. And it hasn't even been a year since I dropped. I first dropped the song even then when I was rapping. I ain't dropped the song till like March, February. Still. Okay, so it's been about to be a full year mm -hmm. now. So how you feel like you improved from then to now? 
I feel like I improved drastically because at the same time, you don't really know nobody out here that's only been rapping for a year and got 60,000 followers on Instagram. Like, yeah, there's people up there with, like, way more than that, but you got to look at the time and be re- realistic with it. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm, I'm good where I'm at. Okay. And, like, so when you first got into it, was your family always supportive or... Yeah, they was always supportive. Like, they was never on no, like, no, you can't do this, you can't do that. But, like, when they saw, like, you know, when Insta- basically they saw when everybody else saw when Instagram, like, when we, we spot off, they like, oh, like, then we got meetings after that, <laughs> studios, it just went crazy from there. All right, so walk us, to the, walk us through the beginning, bro. <laughs> so how did you meet 4-1 or how did y'all all meet? A uh, funny thing, they manager, KVH, that's my cousin. So that's how I knew of, like, for me, I, I didn't really know even then. So let me not even say that. Me and Tata had each other on Snap, not even Instagram, none of that. And I think he posted a trailer. And this is when I was trying to, like, you know, get into rapping or whatever. So I think I swiped up on it, like, yo, what's the word with the stool? He was on the same time, and yo, what's the word? We linked up the <laughs> next day, gangster, mm-hmm. the next day, got a stool session, went there. And that's when I just met all of them at that one session. Okay, so... Was you ever for one or like was like how did that happen? Like how did you I mean, join the group? Is there a special gangster? Way? Let me yo. I'm gonna tell you exactly <laughs> how this happened, yo. We in the stool the day I the first day I met them. Like I said, in the stool after the song we recording, they all feeling it, all feeling me and whatever. You just hear nah. I don't care about none of that. My is for one. My for one. Every Who last one of them. If I'm lying, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Like y'all was there. That's really how it went down. I never once was like, oh, let me be for I didn't know what 4 one was. Nobody knew what that what it was. Okay. So was you skeptical at first? Did you have to do your research on it? Like what like I mean, like I knew of them because before they was 4 one, they was something called Frasier or whatever. Like on mm-hmm. Facebook. That's when they had they had a little Facebook cloud or whatever. So you know, some me niggas knew about them. Yeah. But I when I for me, I thought it was like, you know, genuine. Like we was all for me rocking mm-hmm. out with each other. So I ain't feeling need the background check them. But you know, I had people in my corner who I should have Listen to talking about some. Who was people? Family? My pops. He was the main one. My pops and my mother. They was not playing with me. They like, you would not fool me. Stop saying that. They, those are your peoples. You so you cool jacket, you cool. Yeah. But I was on some, like, for me, I was on some time and they was on, like, nah, yeah, I'm fooling. Like, love. I was, uh-huh, yeah, like, yeah. I was not listening to nobody around me that was saying that. Gangsta. Okay. All right, so when did everything start going downhill, though? <laughs> Son. It all started because of Kenzo birthday party. Yo, it all, it all went down here in June. But Kenzo the fans, birthday my, my birthday, I had a birthday party oh. last year. It all started from there, but the fans never knew about it until now. But we all fell out since June. Nobody knew that, though. We okay. still, like, not played it off because it never gave, like, fake for the media, but we still, it was cool. Yeah, like, like nobody now. asked about it. It wasn't, like, gangster. So. All right, so what happened? Because they saying you did some shit that they cannot forgive. So what's the crazy shit? Like, yo, you want to hear what's the crazy? Yo, <laughs> like, let me tell y'all. I'm in my birthday party. Uh-huh. I got there. I arrived at like 11 o'clock. They was already there. Like, you know, they did. They walked through four ones there. I walked in. You know, it was nothing. It was good vibes. Like, I was only in my party for 30 minutes. I swear to God. And you just hear shots fire. Uh-huh. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody running. Like, you know, everybody is everybody everybody's out, know. right? Next day come, you know, I'm texting. Well, that was the same night. I'm texting on my friend. I text Jen and I'm like, Oh, I'm so glad that y'all all came. I just crazy how that happened, X, Y, and Z, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Jen was on some Maya and I, you dead crazy for putting niggas' lives in jeopardy. You're just wailing like, girl, one, who who am I to stop a gun? Like, let's be for real. They, they was mad about... Well, they made it seem like you knew that was going to happen? Hello, that's my birthday party. Why would I want anybody doing anything of that sort? I would have been tight from even a fist fight. Why is y'all yeah. fighting in my party? But the crazy part is, it, the reason why it's so messed up is because the altercation happened between uh, one of the four one members mm-hmm. and my blood cousin. That's oh, who. So that's that's who it, it interacted with. But we didn't know all of that. Like nobody knew this until, until like the later. next days and stuff. Like then we found mm-hmm. out. And I don't know. I guess they felt like those are my peoples. At the end of the day, I'm like. Bro, I was mad at my own cousin. Like, yeah. I was not talking to him. Because it was your birthday. That. Either like, way, like, I however was, it would have happened, it was your birthday. I was tight. So, feel me? And they just, Jen felt like she didn't feel comfortable around me because I'm, I'm a, for me, my people, that, that happened. But I'm like, yeah. the same time, the crazy part is, the 4-1 member, he approached my cousins first, saying like, oh, y'all 401k? Why would you think he 401k if he my cousin? Like, I don't think they understand because they, feel me, they really, like. So, 4-1 remember like, that. Is he still 4-1 or he's no one? Uh, he shouldn't be. They ain't get back <laughs> for him. So, <laughs> that shouldn't be a man's, like, okay. gangster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So, so um, 
So in the interview, I forgot who just said it, but somebody just did an interview with P Films, and it was like how the four one kids was looking up to Black work. Josh Stacks, yeah. Yes, that's his name. So what you think from watching everything? I'm not gonna being lie, being being there when it happened, like now that they fell out, they try to act like they not they not Jack and Block work wasn't Jack and Block. I was on the block with them, like y'all was Jack and Block work. That was y'all son. What you what y'all talking about? Now everybody forgetting and where stuff really came from, like. Crazy. Yeah. So when Blackwork was coming around and stuff, did you think it was weird? Like, what you thought? I, <laughs> man, I was thinking all types. I'm like, like, what's going on? Because feel me, like, Blackwork from the Bronx, not saying, like, we don't mess with people from the Bronx, but just, like, how did y'all, feel me, like, link up? Yeah. But I guess that was something with the managers. The managers put that together. But it wasn't even just about the managers. They was really jacking son. They they was yeah. trying to even say, even then when we was around him, they was like, He's oh, they one. only be around him. Cause nah, they, nah I, I can't lie, though. They never once said he was 4-1. They always okay. said that he not 4-1. He not 4-1. They just... That's with him, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. And then when the Naughty Bob song came out, you heard it before that? Nah, we because remember I had said we fell out okay. already, so it wasn't like we were sending unreleased to each other and okay. stuff like that. So I ain't, I found out when the world found <laughs> out. Gangsta. Okay, what was your thoughts on it? I felt like it was corny. Not even based off the simple fact of, like, I just feel like they didn't really have no real issue to even create a whole viral dance over that boy's passing. Yeah, he he dissed them first. I understood that. So I already knew they was going to diss him back. Right. But the whole dance Dancing and all that. Right. And at the end of the day, I got a 14-year-old little brother. I got a little brother at the end of the day. I'm not mm-hmm. mimicking no little brother, no little boy death. Okay. And then, um, yeah, that was kind of OD. But there was like how I seen the pages. Do you feel like the trolls be imp and shit? Yeah, for a fact, because... People will be putting a battery in people back. Somebody not even gonna think something, but they see it in the comments. Oh yeah, I, I just get hype off that. Like people let the fans get to them. And what about you? Do you feel like the, you let the fans get to? Yeah. You? Do you read comments? Ooh. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> I will not be playing with nobody, but I don't sit there and argue with everybody. I stopped doing that. At the beginning of my career, I was tough on live. Every co- yo, wow, and I had to calm down because it's like I'm gonna argue with the whole world every day. Everybody gonna have something to say about me. Yeah, yeah. So just maneuvering through that. All right, so what are your thoughts on them now? Like for one now, is it all love? It's no beef, or they said it's too not much? Lo- no love, nothing. <laughs> they said too everything much. dead. They all off that they shot gangster. Okay, and um, but in Tata interview, he said you was supposed to sign with them, but you didn't sign the contract. Nah, yeah, Did I was. All the beef really start when the. No contract shit happened. Nah, not even <laughs> then. But I'm not gonna lie to you though. It, got weird. it definitely, it definitely did get weird because. It made it seem like, like I don't know how to explain it, like, cause this this was around the time where they had the concert in July, mm-hmm. and I was supposed to sign with them previously before that too. I was supposed to sign with them a couple times, but it's like my parents, like, because in the interview they also said like, you know, parents get in the way and stuff, but my parents like wasn't really sub? jacking it, yeah, cause it wasn't really a sub, but like we knew what they was talking about, cause they said me and D. I guess it was the same thing with D father too at one point. Uh-huh. And my parents, they wasn't really, they they wasn't just trying to have me quick sign with them, cause you never know what could happen. And look, if I would have signed with them. I'd have been in the whole effed up position right now. I'm not doing no songs with y'all. I don't want to do no songs with me. What I'm really doing, I'd have been shelf somewhere. Like yeah, they they would have been priority. Yeah. Uh huh. So um, but another member was saying like, oh, if you didn't sign with them, you couldn't even do a song with them. They was. I'm not gonna lie though. The funny thing about all of that is, Josh Stacks. Like some things he be saying, he really like because we really know like. When um around the time, I'm not the only one who felt the way about four one. Like even Josh yeah. Stacks said it. D felt the way too. Okay. Lotto felt the way too. Best we was at the show, literally at the show, they on stage. Yeah. Us three in the corner talking like, Oh yeah, I peeped the way, yeah, Maya, I meant to talk to you about that. I peep it, ah, ah. Everybody peeped it, but nobody acted on it. They still yeah. D riding like gangster. We ain't gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> like, word. Okay. Do you have any regrets about the situation though? Yeah, how calm I was about it. You feel like you should have turned up earlier? Yeah, because I be giving people the benefit of the doubts a lot. I'm a very loyal person, so even us falling out, I'm not going to, oh, we got beef. I'm doing this. I even said I would never say I'm 401k. The simple fact is I was jacking that, and I feel like if you turn something and you're not jacking, you're corny. Like, you, those yeah. are just your peoples. But, you like, the way stuff really happened, it really gets to that, like, and that's what it got to. Yeah, that's pretty sad, though, because y'all always coming together. So, which one call it? So, but you still link for Asian Doll. Yeah. She jacked you the Princess of Drill. Yeah. And fans and people turned up on that. They went crazy. <laughs> Once me and Asian, yo, I swear to God, I looked, I was at 20K. I'm like, yo, I was just at 10K, 9K, something like that. Gangsta, it just went crazy from there. Yeah, so how's you and Asian Doll now? We good. She be trying to be big sister, little sister, talking about she gonna whip me with a belt. Like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo. But, um, 
But yeah, so so you and Agent still cool. Are we gonna get another song? Nah, y'all Shake definitely gonna remix. get another song. Like, I'm not gonna lie, we was yo key. Agent had me in the stool so many times, and I don't know, I just been yo our last stool session we was we was all we was in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. I went to sleep in the stool. I was so tired, Agent. Yo, you, if you outside with Agent, be ready to not go in the crib to eight in the morning. I was not. <laughs> so, but moving moving on in your career, you did a show. Mm-hmm. You did your own show? How was mm-hmm. that? Calm, like I feel like the show that's um come. Mm-hmm. Didn't you do a show, or is it coming up? Oh no, nah, it's coming up. Yeah, that's, okay. I, I was thinking you were talking about the performances I did do. No, the show that's nah, coming yeah, up. Nah, the show's right now. coming up Sunday. Sunday. By the time oh, y'all this see Sunday, this though, we gonna yeah. be talking. Y'all gonna be seeing the videos. <laughs> like, okay, but you did do a performance. I know it was on Asian Doll tape. Mm-hmm. How was that? Did you get a lot of feedback from that? Nah, did yeah, for a fact. Cool? Up it, up it is a perfect track. When we was at um her release party. It was only me. Tata ended up coming later, but it was only on the stage. It was only me, Asian, and Jen. But it was still like we performed or whatever. The crowd, they was going crazy. I think Shawnee was there too, right? Nah, yeah, Shawnee was there. So you and Shawnee's like close. I wouldn't drag it because, like, you know, because some people not, because I don't know, like, how other people feel, but like, Shawnee, my son. Okay. And you was in the video. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what you thinking? What's T? What you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> so. You going to do a song with Murder B? How you feel about Murder B? Oh, Murder B, she cool. Gangster, yeah, we doing a song. Song definitely in the works. Okay. And um, so when you first did a song with Shawnee, did um, the job plans to? Or you was kind of just trying to work with different people? Because it seemed like you open to working with different people. Nah, I really am. That's the crazy part about it. But me and, um, me and Shawnee, we been talking about a track. Like, I think around last year, we had followed each other already. But that was, like, right when me and Kenzo B beef started. So, like, you know, I peeped that they mm-hmm. was cool. So, I'm like, I don't know if she, like, on oh, the same man. time and her friend on. Like, not being on, like, beefing with me. But, like, you know, like, she don't want to do a song out of respect for her friend or whatever. Right. I thought, like, she was going to be like that. But, now nah, we started texting about the song. Started talking about it. Talking about it. We both baited, though. Like, it was times when she told me pull up. I told her pull up. And we both had something to do. Okay. And I think we just both got tired of trying to link up. And we just, one of us just did it and sent each other the open it. verse. Okay. And then we linked up and shot the vid. I definitely shot the video. Okay, so where did the beef start with Kenzo? Bro, over something so dumb. Like, she's grown. You should be ashamed of yourself. Over me saying top two, not two, and me and Asian Doll song, she felt like it was about her. For some reason, I don't know why you would think that if we never had a problem. Mm -hmm. That's like if you say a line and I've, oh, it's about me. Why would I think that's about me if me and you have no problem? That don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. And she thought top two, not two was from there. But when she texted me about it, nigga, I'm not about to be like, now, oh, no, it's not about you, and you coming crazy at me. I'm not copping it. It ain't about you, but now you feel away. You know what to do, like. Okay, so what happened with the whole pull up on the block shit? Oh, God. A bun- that's what I said about fraudulent activities, y'all. I hit her up. People thought she called me outside. I texted her that day because we was arguing over something, and I just got tired of it. I'm not about to keep every five, three months we about to argue on Instagram. No. Okay. So I was like, all right, what you doing today? Like, you want to link up? She was like, yeah, bet. What's the word? All right, boom. I, I sent her to Addie. I told her what time to come in, all that. I'm not about to wait on you all day. You know who I am. I'm somebody. I got like I got something to do. I hit up. I said five o'clock. Feel me? She a bogus excuse talking about something. She ain't got no ride. Girl, what do you mean you got no ride? I'm like, I. Right. Once she said that from there, I knew we was not linking up. I knew it because it's just like you talking about you got no ride. Like I know what's happening from here. But the funny part is, I told my pops. I said, Yo, I already know what she gonna do. She going to come later when she know I'm not there, record my, come outside, my pops could merge. I told him this before it even happened. Mm-hmm. They like, nah, I don't know, nah, I don't going to do that. I'm like, all right, y'all all going to see, boom. Next thing I know, my Instagram blowing up. Mm-hmm. Homegirl come 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. What's wrong with you, girl? Like, where's your parents at? I know mine's ain't letting me just go outside 1, 2 o'clock in the morning to go fight. Like, where's yours at? What's going on? So, so did y'all, y'all argue since then or like what happened? Cause you saw it the next day. Did you see it that night? Like what happened? Nah, yeah, I saw it that night, and we was texting or whatever. And then the next day, cause I had told her, I had told, her, I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not about to keep doing this to you. Like, if you want to see me tomorrow, you can see me tomorrow. Cause I'm, I'm gonna be there. Like nobody was coming today at twelve o'clock. You're dumb. And she just like she, she, she malicious. She planned that word of my dad. Like she knew what she was doing. That girl is evil. But do you feel like y'all beef would ever? Hold on. Good guys. Do you feel like y'all beef would ever come to an end? Like, I don't, it don't seem that serious. It's really not. It's not. I could say, I told, I admitted that to multiple people that we were beefing for no reason. But it comes to a point where, oh, we got to shake. Like, sorry, yeah. too much has been said. And once certain lines get crossed, you can't go back on that. You spoke to my pops. It's dead he from there. I want to fight. Oh, wow. 
So she just said too much. Yeah, I told. I even told my father when we first argued the first time, before any songs was made or anything like that, it could have definitely got brought together. Cause even Booba, they he was even telling me like, Nah, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to like we're gonna fix that. Cause for me, mm. like nobody wanted us beefing. Cause the niggas wanted us to work together. I wanted. Yeah. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I wanted to work with her before before we started beefing. I definitely held up for a feature, but for me. Stuff went left, so, is so it is what, what it is. So it went left from the feature, or it went nah, left? Nah, I ain't go left else. from the feature. Oh. Gangsta hell for the feature. She gonna say, DM my manager. When I tell fellow artists to DM my manager, I, mean, I don't want to do a song with you. Word of my dad, because other artists, when we when we, other artists hit me up, feel me, they just the same. I mean, we both lit. Yeah. We link. Yo, what's the word? We out to the stool. But if you another artist, like, oh, let's collab. Then I'm, I, I'm like, I bet DM my manager. Talk to my manager, because I know he gonna ch- he gonna tax you. Feel me? Yeah. And I charge people for features. I'm not paying you for a feature. You ain't dirt. Sorry. So I left today. It was never no like, oh, like, argument over it. You yeah. do your business how you do your business. Once she sent me her manager profile, I left her there. It was no nothing else said nothing after else that. To talk yeah, about. it wasn't yeah. nothing else said. Okay. All right. So, but yeah. So, I mean, so that's them. So that's up with Shawnee. All right. So, how you feeling about drill music overall right now? I feel like it's ridiculous. It's a new rapper like every day. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We got twelve year olds rapping, the little kids rapping, kids that look like my little brother's age yeah. rapping and wilding. It's just I feel like at this point, if you want to be famous, go talk about something you ain't never do, gangster. You feel like everybody's doing that though? Yeah. It is I it, it, yo, it's a select few that's really out here doing what they rapping about. Cause if y'all all doing this and doing this and doing that, why y'all up still alive? Y'all not doing none of that. <laughs> y'all just saying it cause it sound good, but y'all ain't really doing that. So what ma- what do you think makes you stand out when it comes to the music scene? I feel like the fact that I'm really nice. Like aside from all this like drill rapping, gra gra boom, like we could re- I could really go ball for ball. I don't gotta say not a curse word. I don't gotta say nothing dealing with a drill. I could really talk to you and really teach you something. Like yeah. Do you feel like you're doing drill music now because it's trendy, or did you? Is that it? Does it like? I got though? I got a couple melodic tracks dropping like on March third. A letter to you is dropping, but I feel like drill. The reason why I'm just so like mainly a drill artist is because that's where all the fans like fell in love with me at. Like that's that's where all their attention is on, and I noticed that. Like I do like certain stuff, like strategically to see like you know the numbers no. or whatever. Like I drop a a melodic triller and then drop a drill triller two weeks later and compare the numbers, and I would see like. They be reacting to the drill more than that. more than they because feel me like that's what they're used to. So oh. I feel like that's the only reason why a lot of artists really doing drill because it's like when they switch to a different lane, not everybody coming with you. That's that was messing with you from drill. Right. So it's like you got to be careful about what you're doing. Yeah, you just gotta make your fans fall in love with real. you and stuff like that. So and um in the recent like Murder Beat interview, she said that she was one of the people that paved the way for the female drill artists, but mm-hmm. she cleared it up and mm-hmm. said like she meant for the newer girlies. Who do you feel like paved the way for the dr- drill girls? I guess I feel like me. I'm not. <laughs> okay. gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I say that for a reason. I, oh, yo, because if you think about it, Shawnee. I mean, Shawnee. Yeah, Shawnee been out. Kenzo B. They been rapping or whatever. But like nobody names been buzzing the way everybody names is buzzing now from rapping. You was not knowing no lit female drill rappers that's really lit. How like now yeah. c- saying Kenzo B. Named Shawnee Bonnie Need Murder B. Now compared to saying it last year, it's not. It's not the it's same weight. Like yeah. feel me. When I came out, mm-hmm. I was really wilding, talking crazy, talking just how the boys was talking. I had everybody mm-hmm. like, yo, she's yeah, wilding. Hype, like, yeah. gangster, they even put me at the end of 4 1 Bop because they said they want niggas to listen to the whole song. Word of my dad. Like, I really had, the round last year when I just started rapping, I really had everybody in a lot. And I just showed females, like, rap. <laughs> Word so of my you dad. You feel like, like you were part of the pioneers? Like, you shot Yeah, definitely for female. Like, I feel like I give credit when it's due. So if anybody that don't give credit point out who really was paving the way, they just hating. All right. Do you like any of the other new new girls that's coming up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was honest. <laughs> that was honest. <laughs> so, like, doing those songs, like, 4 and Bob, 4 and Cypher, do you feel like those was too long of a song? I feel like, mm, I feel like, yeah, like, now like strategically, strategically, if you really thinking about, like, how long the song is, yeah, but, like, People was tuned into that. Like yeah. they, people did not care how long, how many people was on that song. They was watching the whole thing and they knew everybody verse, word from word. Yeah, I think everybody definitely knew everybody verse. Mm-hmm. But do you feel like song? I feel like everybody's doing like super short songs now. Yeah, they definitely because like what everybody say the same thing. What do y'all really got to talk about now? <laughs> For real, like <laughs> niggas song would be one minute and thirty seconds now. I just be like, wow. 
So when you write, and what what inspires you? It depends on how you're feeling. You write music. Yeah, gangster. It depends on how I'm feeling. Like, cause like if I'm like if you got me tight, oh my god, I'm about to wow you up <laughs> for five minutes. Five minutes. I'm about track. to wow <laughs> you up. Like I got so much to say. But like mm-hmm. usually when I'm ra- rapping, whatever I just talk about like previous things, things like, like you you get what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay. So, um, and one of um. Basically, one say, are you? What's your relationship status? <laughs> we get into everything. We get into everything, Maya. Yo, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you wrong. You that? De- Listen, I don't know. You don't know right now. Okay, nope. cool. Is it guys? Is it girls? Is it what is it? Because <laughs> everybody keep jacking. You had this girlfriend or have a girlfriend, but you wasn't. You was always gay, or like, are you even gay? Because we don't know. You <laughs> never even said it. So nah, yeah, gangster. I don't talk to boys. I can't talk to boys. I don't know. It's just, it's just me. Like I can't. Like it's not trash. Okay. I suit out. Okay. So girls. Okay. Rather not say. <laughs> 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 but all in all, so do you feel like girls be on you? Like, how do you do about shows now? Because I'm sure you got a lot of girl fans. Because I see them in music videos. Yeah, yeah. For a fact, they don't be wilding like. I don't know. It's different because I'm still a girl, so it would be girls that's not on that, but you know they be, you know, Ain't close and stuff, so it look like that, but it don't really be that. Like, it just be like, you know, fans Michael. showing love. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you would turn into, like, a full-blown tomboy? Because you be what? like a girl sometimes. <laughs> I'm not nobody tomboy. Said, do, you, do you feel like you'll turn into one, or you feel oh, like you like being I'm too pretty for that. And, yeah. Too pretty. <laughs> Yo, dad, <laughs> stop laughing because I know why you laugh. <laughs> You day rule. But, um, okay, so what are your plans as far as the music? Because you got a love song. <clears throat> I feel like I'm just trying to take over. Like, I be really, like, listening to my songs and seeing, like, how, like, what could take me to that mainstream level. Like, because I don't want to stay in drill forever. I really don't. I'm not about to be. I know you got deal offers before. Why you keep turning them down? Mm, I'm scared of the industry for real. <laughs> I'm serious. Scared of contracts, scared of the people, scared of. I'm scared of, of all of that because. I don't know. You never know nobody's intentions. Like, you could see somebody and meet somebody sitting in a meeting and it sound good. Then when you sign that paper and now a week later, two weeks later, everything different. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. So you're just waiting for the right thing? I guess you could say that I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the most genuine opportunity. I don't want to just jump at anything that comes to me. But I definitely, I got a distro deal right now. Okay. Definitely with EQ, EQ Rock Nation or whatever. It's like, it's giving me a taste of, like, what to expect okay. when I am actually under a record label. So, yeah, it's cool. So, do you like how that's going so far? Yeah, for a fact. Like, it's, it's different. Like, if I need something, just text them. Can't go. <laughs> I'm dead serious. No, like, no, it's really. Sure it go. Definitely. You got you to gotta do everything yourself. Yeah, like, and, and then, like, it's like not me just jumping in. Because I feel like people be, like, mistaken for that big check. Little do you know. You got to, like, you got to get you that. You got to work for that. So, I feel like yeah. dumb helping me get, get my numbers up. That's going to give me the correct, the right, the right dish deal. Like, okay. I mean, but you would right do another way. dish or you wouldn't do a major or you don't know yet? I don't know yet. We don't know what the future may hold, man. <laughs> All right. And then, um, so it was rumors saying that, like, you was probably going to lock in with Asian or Asian was going to manage you or something like that. Yeah, it was something like that. But, like, Asian just really, like, she just really, like, wanted the best for me and wanted me to not to be, like, just jump. She was scared that I was going to jump in and just sign anything. Gangsta Asian did not want me to sign nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing. She was, it was even when she found out my dish there, she texted me. She said, you saw Maya? Yo, I left her there in gangsta. <laughs> I ain't text back yet. I text back. I'm like, yeah, boom, called me. We on the phone for mad long. She just talking to me. Like, it was like she wasn't really like on no, like, I'm your manager or whatever. She was just on some like Open. Yeah, like I got I got experience. I'ma like teach tell you wrongs and right, basically. Right. But all in all, you happy with the show right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So you got the show coming up. You got new music coming. Definitely for collab on the way. Definitely collab on the way. This new, that new, I don't know if y'all saw, but that, that Trilla, that sneak peek I dropped. We're going to okay. talk on the facts. Rella, you dissing me, <laughs> you trash. I my was going to say. Some murder. Some murder beast trying to get on that. Gangsta. So murder beast going to get on that? Gangsta for a fact. So how did you feel about the Gangsta Barbie release? The funny part is, I when she released that, I didn't even really like, oh, nah, she's still in my name. Because it's just like, you know how many rappers is in the world? Like, somebody mm. is going to have the same name for a song. Like, it's right. going to happen. 
So I wasn't really tripping about that. But when she linked up and did the song with Kenzo B and her first line out her mouth was, how you jack top two and you not top five? And then you want a song with her. You going to expect me to think you're not talking about me? Okay. Like, everybody thought she was talking about I was even in a store with Shawnee and Murder. We all three sitting there trying to figure out, yo, who? Who she talking about? Like, who y'all feel like talking about? I feel like Murder, she feel like talking to me. I'm like, I don't really feel like she was talking about Murder B because, for me, like, Murder B is not known for saying top two, not two. Yeah. When you, she said that in a few songs or whatever, but that's not, like, what she really say all the time. Yeah. I say that all the time. That started me a whole beef with this girl. And you want a song with her. Okay. So, it's you talking about me. That's what it seemed like. Okay. But I guess she wasn't. So, she said she wasn't? Nah, her friend, who want to keep talking for her, went live or whatever. Kenzo B went live. Okay. Basically was like, oh, this Rella is crazy. And I know who Rella was specifically talking about. She wasn't talking about you. You're delusional for thinking that. Girl, I ain't delusional for thinking nothing. Because everybody thought the same thing. Yeah, and I'm not about to sit there. Yeah, I'm not about to sit there and go out my way and text you like, oh, you t- were you talking about me? <laughs> no. If I got to feel like you're talking about me, then you moving funny or shady anyway. I'm not going to just think you're talking about me. Yeah. And I felt that way. And I just diss back. Oh, well, like. Okay, so how do you feel about this whole female divide? It's like y'all three. It's so weird. That's the like, funny part is I was just saying that to my father. I was like, this is not no Maya Kenzo, Shani Bonnie, Murder V versus Kenzo B and Huppy. This is not that. Okay. This is really like, no, this is not that. I feel like it's weird because, like, if you peep that Dead Op song, 4-1, 4-1 was on it, mm-hmm. C Blue, yeah, Kenzo, Kenzo Baller, Baller, like, feel me? If the girls did that, I'm not even going to lie. I don't like none of y'all, crazy. but we was all on a I song like together. That song is going wild, but that would never happen. <laughs> never happen. I hope eventually y'all all get over I mean, yeah, I stuff. already told you. Kenzo B, girl, after I beat you up, we could be friends. Like, if that's what you want. But y'all could cook up some music. Yeah, like, definitely, but shit. something got to happen first. And doing business first. Okay. And then that. Okay, so. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. So, okay, so did you see what was going on with, um. Kyle in this whole bracelet situation. <laughs> Go get back. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> See, I'm glad I'm not their friends because gangster, if I was dead, I was tweaking with that boy for KR. I know I, I yo, tough. I can't. Mm-mm. It seemed like everything. Do you think, do you see a change when the deal happened? Yeah. For a fact, I wasn't the only one. Everybody saw the change. Everybody, that's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't just me who fell out with them. Everybody felt the way, but I was the only one who really stopped. Dealing with them. Everybody okay. else just feel me. They still wanna they still wanna get out the hood. So feel me, they gonna ride their way, but everybody felt the same way. Everybody. Um, and then when the Mo Cardi was selling the music or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> something like that. I don't <laughs> know, bro. I just see all, all these pages. <laughs> Did you hear about that? Do he got some of your music? Do nah, he, he definitely like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not even jacking Mo Cardi word. Only cause the simple fact, like but when if I fell out with full one. I wasn't on no, I didn't think, like, everybody's going to play Fire Leader. I'm not going to cap. But I see him. We bumped into each other in BK, some function or whatever. I see him. I was with my peoples or whatever. I tried to talk to him. Like, I gave him a hug. I, I don't know what I did. I think I tapped him or tried to give him a hug. I don't remember. It was Halloween. He, um, he like, brushed me off. It was like, like, shook his head and walked out the spot. My mans was tight. They was not jagging that. Cause they like, like you, you D-riding 4-1. Weird. That don't got nothing to do with you, Moses. Yeah. Like, what is you doing? And so then the crazy part is he fell out with them right after that. Yeah. Then guess what happened? He texted me for a song. You was not just trying to do a song with me. You was just on some Maya Kenzo K right along with them. Now they not mad jacking you. Now you want a song with me. You're a dub. I told him you better you better get out of here. Gangster. So what about um what about Blackwork though? Would you cook up with him or Blackwork be losing it? Mm-mm, we don't got a song. We were supposed to have a song, but drama going on? It's not even about too much drama. Like, people be, like, I don't know, like, too mixy for me. Like, I didn't think me and him had a problem. He was on yeah. live th- the same day him and 4-1 fell out. He went live. This is when we was all still cool. Uh-huh. I joined it. I ain't say nothing. Swear to God. The fans, you know, the fans see you in the live, so they start yeah, tagging me. You. Hey, Maya. Hey, Maya. Black or go, he lose. He lost his mind. He said, he said something. He said, yo, stop stop saying hi to her. Get off my live for I slap you. Something like that. Slap who? From there, but then the crazy oh, part is he just followed me, though. Yesterday, I think, two days ago, he just followed me. So I don't know if he forgot about that. <laughs> like, I don't know if he don't remember that, but Yo. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know. Yo, how do you feel about all the, like, blog pages we got? Please don't lag. We got Swayze and all these people. It's a whole lot of favoritism and weirdness with them. with Not not Swayze, but please don't lag. Like, that page really pick and choose what it posts. I swear. I really feel like as somebody from RPT is behind that page, I, I'm going to keep... Saying that, I really, I really truly believe that. I'm sorry. 
it's definitely a young person. I could tell they they got a lot of time. Nah, they hands. they but better keep they they i they keeping their identity secure. I don't know not one person who gonna even know who behind. Please don't lie. No. I don't. I don't got no guesses. But y'all like I don't like that all the pages are anonymous though. I don't like that either because people be having CEO or this that during their bio. Why are you scared? You, you that's your platform of business. Yeah. What you like? What you ducking your identity for? Because you know you are doing something you're not supposed to be doing. You would be a shade room for drill music. That's what that is. Right. How do you feel about when they were saying like they're gonna ban drill music though? Oh, mm. ah, yo, I was. I remember my pops. They my pops. My mother was saying something. They like they about to drill. They about to ban that. They about what you gonna do now? They about to ban that. I'm like they not banning nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Gangsta, I, I'm not gonna lie to drill music would have been everybody would not be in the same position they in right now. Yeah, so it de- yeah, they definitely got it helped people and stuff like that. It definitely did. Yeah, but I still I don't know. I see everybody playing drill music now. Do you have a favorite like girl that's like mainstream? Like you see how we got Glorilla coming mm-hmm. up and all these other people coming up. Yeah, Glorilla like, and you know, Cardi. Those top two. Top yo, because <laughs> I feel like like I'm really like not to sound but I feel like I really act just like them like. Us three in a room together, the whole room Vibes. gonna be laughing. <laughs> I swear to God. Vibes. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So what's next? You say you got features coming up. Mm-hmm. My show coming up. More, just more content, more music dropping. I'm trying to get more active on TikTok and all. TikTok, yo, it take yeah. too much time out of my day. I cannot TikTok. On TikTok a lot. Yeah, I'm on TikTok now. Like now, I'm trying to be more consistent and get out more content. Like you know, linking up with YouTubers, doing videos, just like what the fans clearly reacting to is just what I'm gonna keep putting out there. Right. Do you like doing the YouTube videos and stuff and all that? It depends, like, nah, for real, like, the last one I did with Booba, gangsta, like, Booba my son, but he played too much, like, okay. we was in the, we was in the car, you know, just doing a video, he like, he like, I see him pulling out his phone, but I'm like, Booba, I'm not, once I saw him, like, in a cool log like this, I'm like, Booba, I'm not playing with you, so if you about the cool Kenzo, believe, like, you really better, like, pause it right now, I'm not playing with you, we not about to argue on FaceTime for your video, I'm not doing that, yeah. cause that's like, that's not a play, that's, I don't take that as a joke, like, some people yeah, could beef with their ops and play, I don't, not about to play with you. We really have an issue. I'm not doing that with you. So, he he. I thought he listened to me. Gangsta. I thought he listened to me. I just hear the phone ringing. I hear booba. What? I yo. I looked at this. I'm like, you that cool tone? You ain't li-, like. And she just you know doing her little argument. Funny part is that's how I'm saying. Like a lot of stuff that y'all be seeing before. She gonna say on a vi- on the phone. She like, I bet you you won't send me your addy right now. Mind you, whole time she know we in Baltimore. You was in the tab. Where you, where you coming? You know we in Baltimore. Like, it just be a lot of stuff that I feel like be, like, stuff that you shouldn't play with. And I feel like the ops, like, they be doing that a lot. Like, they'll tell me. We about to do a video. Next thing you see, Maya Kenzo to the back seat. And we doing it. We doing that. Like, they, they so just they be, play they too much. They, like, hard. exaggerating it? Yeah, like, the yo, that's why all they videos is clickbait. Everybody say that. They be like, yeah. they be like the memes come up. But y'all still do them, so it's like, what, I ain't do point, a video in a minute. Yeah, Gangsta. Last one I seen, I think, was the blonde date or yeah, I ain't do a video in a minute with them yeah. gangs. I was supposed to do a video. The creep I was supposed to do a video with Nodi yesterday. I don't know what happened. I think, oh, when he texted me, he was here. My, I think my phone was dead or something. I look back at it. 30 minutes later, he sent me pictures like, oh, I left. He was tight, I think. Nodi, you be all right. Yeah. So you want to do other yeah. YouTube stuff, though? I don't know. I feel like a lot of YouTube stuff is fake because a lot of that stuff be scripted and planned. So I don't know. I be staying away from YouTube, but... People definitely be want to see that, like you know, drill rappers in their day to day life. So I definitely yeah. get into they that. They just vlog. Yeah, for a fact. Yeah, a whole prank, prank or a and whole yeah. I get what you're saying. All that extraness. But yeah, all right. So tell the people where to find you. <laughs> Y'all already know. Follow me on TikTok, Maya Kenzo twenty three. Same thing for IG. Mm-hmm. All that tapping all music. Y'all go stream my hump. Go stream prettiest gangster EP. Still run that up. And everybody be at the show. Well, y'all y'all can't be at the show now, but y'all gonna hear about it. I already know the vibes. How we go? What the-